Hello, welcome to the Tea Spot with Maxwell. And tonight we are featuring the Monster Bar located in the West Village in New York City. Come on in. I've actually been here for a little bit over two years now. I started out um, as a bartender and then I became general manager this past October. Alrighty, and what initially drew you to this specific spot? I typically like this one because of the mixed crowd that always comes in here. Um, every time I used to personally come in here, I would have a great time. I would meet new people. You can always have a great conversation with just like some, just the person sitting next to you. So. I want that throne. So bad. So All right, Holly Day. So I know that you are a performer here. Wednesdays are specifically your night, correct? I do Wednesdays. I do Saturdays as well. Double duty. Double trouble. Busy, busy woman. I love that. Gender neutral bathrooms. A win. What we kind of have a niche with all the other ones is that we have a dance floor. We're the only club in this area that has a dance floor that can hold about 200 people. Let's go downstairs. Come on. You know, Monster's been around for so long, um, it's always been a place that's a safe haven for the whole queer community. And I've just always been drawn to it, you know, it's the last really only dance club we have left in the West Village especially. I know that throughout the week you like to kind of specialize and bring in different crowds. On Monday nights we have our Latin night, Tuesday nights if you love disco you can come dance to disco classics on Tuesday night. Well, let me tell you, make some noise for the straight women here tonight, welcome girls. Thank you for taking us to prom. Wednesdays, uh, which is tonight, is Wasted Wednesdays, where you can actually do <laughs> you can actually do buy one get one like the entire night till 4 a.m. Um, Thursday is Funk, which we are actually very much known for. We have about 35 to 40 plus strippers, logo dancers downstairs, so it gets pretty crazy downstairs on Thursday. And then Friday night, um, basically, I took a historic party that used to be out at the original Monster in Cherry Grove, it's called Green Lips, and we turned it into a dance party here in Manhattan. Saturday is basically Spunk Thursdays, but it's a dance party, so you kind of get the best of both worlds. We also have our drag competition off with our head, which is Sunday nights. Yeah, I've, I've come a couple of times for that because yeah. I know a couple of those queens. Yeah. Oh, they're empty. I guess it's a hot commodity. Safe sex, the best sex. We have tons of regulars who come in for happy hour every day. And then we also have a lot of tourists that come in during the week. And then we also have a younger crowd that comes in at night. So you kind of get this great mix, people sharing information, people conversating on a regular basis that you never know who you might run into here. You guys will be in the heat of pride over here. Yeah. If you are planning to come to this area and visit any of these iconic bars, any ins or outs, do's or don'ts for anyone that's new to the city? Well, what I would suggest is the earlier the better. I think they said this year they were going to start closing the streets at 6.30 a.m. Please give you to applause for your sexy ass bartenders, give you guys nice and drunk. Hey guys! Hey boys! I will be here for Pride Week. I'm performing on, when, it, when we talk about official yes, yes, Pride, yes. World Pride. Love that. Um, I will be here the Saturday okay. uh, before the parade. So yeah, definitely come die and see us. It's going to be insanity here. It's going to be crazy. So I know that you've been working here for around eight years now. But ladies and gentlemen, the true alcoholics are here. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Look at the vaginas. They're like... <laughs> Can you talk about any growth or change that you've seen in the queer community or in the area specifically? It's funny. I mean, I can argue both sides of it. Yeah. I've seen so much change and then I've seen so much of it stay the same, which I think is great. Right. You know, I mean, like the good things, the um, the older community that's been part of this is teaching us to be, uh, I'm not, I'm old as hell. I don't know why I said that. Well, you look but, great for eight years here. Like, who that's safe but a dream. No, but I mean, like the older community that's been here, you know, sitting um, around, they tell us these great stories about the past that's happened, but then we have new things where we're bringing in new young queens 
uh, new parties are coming in, and like you know, we're trying to keep the old, but still trying to keep with the new, and that's what's great about Monster, and that's really what's made this place so successful. Yeah, I mean, I've met um, a lot of regulars here who have been here for almost since Stonewall began, and I love to hear like a lot of the stories from back in the day, and it, it sits with you. What's kept me with this job and this career and everything is how much how much the community needs all of us to pitch in and make this place a better place. You know, it's not only about the queer community, it's about the straight community also, straight people that come. We need to stick together and we need to stop fighting each other and we need to fight the people that are hurting our community and not each other. So I think that's what's kept me with this and kept me so fired up is rooting for our community, but also trying to educate our community to be like, wait a minute, let's work together and make this the best place we can. Listen, the political climate we live in, we live in the best fucking city right now in the entire fucking world. You are free to let your freak flag fly high, so let's raise it up. If you're from out of town, welcome, 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 because guess what? World Pride is around the fucking corner, ladies and gentlemen. World Pride is coming to New York City! Cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Alrighty, so that's a wrap on the Monster Bar in the West Village. If you're in the area or looking for a hot spot, 10 out of 10 recommend. It's great. The people are great. Gay, straight, bi, queer, any sense of anyone looking for fun, make your way this way. And remember this month, we are highlighting Broadway Cares Equity Fights AIDS. So links will be below and any other further information on that. Go check it out. It's a great cause, guys. And be sure to hit that like and subscribe button to see our future content. Send me suggestions on places to go, and I will see you there. I'm here for it. <laughs>